the day my partner came home and I said it's time I want to do it. I want to be a Muslim and I did my, did my took my, said my shahada. And like I, I touched upon it in my first video is that I felt so content, so content that I'd found Allah and I just felt so good after I took it and like calm. Assalamu alaikum, thank you very much for watching again. Um, so today as you can see from the title I'm going to do my journey to Islam, my revert story. Um, if you're familiar with my, I was about to say my channel, my two videos that I've done, um, you'll know that I am a revert. I have, if I look down I've wrote some notes just to make this video a bit more smoother. So let's just jump right in. So I converted, reverted uh, to Islam in November 2015. I grew up a Christian, um, a Christian household. My, both my parents are Christian. I went to church every Sunday. I went to like after school little Christian club stuff. Um, I was happy, content. Um, first thing, where I grew up in England, there wasn't a lot of diversity. I wasn't really... Um, immersed in other religions or anything so I was quite naive knowing about other religions any information about anything uh, I'll stretch upon that a bit throughout the video so I remember there was a time when I started secondary school so when I was about 12 about 12 13 uh, I got I had a lot of questions about God about faith um, and I really took my own time I think someone of that age, it was quite, uh, a lot of people around me were quite shocked. I remember my grand being very happy. She was quite religious. She was very happy how much I took out of my own time just to learn about things. So there was even at one point, so where we lived, we used to go to a church which was probably about 10, 20 minutes drive away and we always went to that church. And then when we'd finished that Sunday service with my family, I went by myself to another church that was on my street, just because I wanted to, wanted to see how it was. Um, but I remember I had a lot of questions. Uh, one of my friends started coming to church with me a bit because I was raving, oh, it's so good, come with me, and everything that didn't last that long. But then growing up, my, my best friend um, from secondary school, she was a Muslim, and I didn't actually know she was a Muslim for probably like one or two years after knowing her, I knew, I thought she was a vegetarian because she never ate meat or anything with us, like if me and all the girls we went out she didn't eat meat, I, that's probably just because it wasn't halal, and I remember coming over to her house and she had lots of like Islamic artwork in her house, um, her mum sometimes wore a headscarf, and then I remember her starting to speak that her dad was, uh, he wasn't a... Imam, he was a, uh, what's it called? I think he just used to speak at the mosque, so he's quite a pious, quite a big person in the mosque in Plymouth. I actually had no idea there was a mosque there until really a lot after I left. Um, then I moved. I moved from Plymouth to Oxford in 2011, I think it was 2011 when I was 16. Then, uh, straight away I could see how much more diversity there was. Let me just put it into perspective. Where I grew up and where I went to school, there was, in my year, there were two Asian people. One of which was my best friend and then this other girl. There was no one else in my year that was any other ethnicity other than white. Due to Oxford, then in 2012 I got my first job, I think it was 2012, yeah, and a lot of the people I worked with were Asian, um, 
I say Asian, a lot of them were Muslim. I noticed this, I guess, when did I first notice it? Mm -mm -mm. Probably like in Ramadan clock, whenever it was then, you'd see like the big table at the front and it would have like all the food and the juices and everybody would be all happy and calm. I was like, what's the celebration every day? Like I didn't understand because I didn't know. And uh, yeah, so that's when they started explaining. He explained Ramadan to me and the purpose and everything behind it. And then I actually tried to do, I think I tried to do maybe a week. I don't know if I did a full week, but my gosh, I remember my first day, my first day fasting, I was such a horrible person. <laughs> now I look back and me and my other half, we just laugh about it. I remember it was like, oh, what do you want to eat? Like, very kindly, like, he was so, so patient, so calm. He was always asking me, are you okay? Like, you don't need to do this. And just like looking after me and then you'd be like oh what do you want to eat and I'd be snapped like I don't know like anything blah 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 like I was so ratty and horrible but you do learn a lot like I would recommend even just like non-muslim people I recommend to everybody fast for five days set yourself a target of five days that in so just set it to sunlight or so when it's light you don't eat don't drink don't smoke no gum no nothing but not just because of that you will not only will you take things you will realize everything that you have everything that's so easily accessible to you but also work on how you are as a person <laughs> so like I said my first day fasting how horrible I was because I didn't have these things that I was used to and it wasn't like oh I'm intentionally gonna be horrible it's you, something switches in you know you, when you're hungry and you're tired and you're thirsty and it's hot and everything but I yeah I'd recommend it to anybody to do it you learn a lot from it you become a lot more grateful but just try and concentrate on how you are how you are while you're doing it um how kind you are and still I worked around food as well which was a big big thing for me and some of you might know that I'm a I'm a big foodie. I love food. I love cooking food. I love eating food. I love any food. So it was a learning curve to say the least. Now, Alhamdulillah, I find it easy. Last Ramadan, which was my first Ramadan as a Muslim and everything, it was so easy for me. I found it so easy. The days weren't too long. Actually, the days timing wise were long but it didn't feel long to me and I worked all through it um yeah it was good it was very easy for me um when I first started having lots of uh questions about Islam um going a lot out of my own way because I don't think I was necessarily comfortable um asking the people around me although that I know that it would have been more than happy to explain everything to me I think just the person I was I was a bit shy Maybe I thought they would find it offensive that I was asking things. So I remember there were things that I would Google or watch on YouTube. And can I just say, Googling, Googling Islam or Muslims or anything like this. Some of the stuff that comes up, it like it makes me sad. No wonder some people have these this opinion of the way that they'll just read a few things and they're like, oh my gosh, like they're crazy or this doesn't make sense or why would they do that or anything and you just can't trust uh, everything. Watching lots of videos, scholars, uh, I didn't buy any books or anything. Can I just say that I never thought at that time, I mean I was 17, 18, a completely different person to what I am now, I never thought I would be a Muslim. Even when I knew I wouldn't even say I was that that religious anymore about Christianity, which was my faith. I had no shame in saying I was a Christian, but I wouldn't say I was particularly religious. And I believed there was a God, but I wouldn't say that I really practiced my religion as I should have. But I never thought I'd be a Muslim. And I remember even at the time my partner asked me, and I was like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> but... God has a plan. So in 2014, yeah 2014, so I still hadn't converted yet, I did my first full Ramadan 
and again i love ramadan <laughs> even before when i was a muslim like i loved ramadan i loved uh being together with people like my brothers and sisters and i just really enjoy the time yeah so that was my first full ramadan i started praying then as well um uh learning lots about it even my other half started speaking me teaching me so uh, a bit of arabic learning how to write it which was tough um but yeah just just thinking about it was really nice uh, so i celebrated eid then as well and again i loved it i there's something so uh like being all together and the way that people looked after me, the way that these people <laughs> looked after me, even though I was not a Muslim, it wasn't my uh, celebration or anything, but the way that these people, they so went out of their way to look after me. Like, I haven't experienced that even, like, with Christmas, Christmas with people that I know, you know? So that was really nice. Uh, so again, I started questioning lots of things similar questioning God, questioning life, question where am I going with my faith um, and then I think that's when I started to know it was only a matter of time before I converted. No one, ar no, no one around me knew, I think maybe because I was doing Ramadan and I was praying, nobody knew I was praying, it was just my other half and um, just I was just wanted to learn a lot, like I was learning like why do we fast what do we, why do we pray, all the different prayers and what they mean, um, women and men's roles, like all the questions that anybody even that they have outside of Islam, that, what questions they ask were the questions that I was asking. And luckily I had my other half, he gave me a lot of time, taught me a lot, and then up to, I took my shahada, I knew it was going to happen. Let's